Our steward rules a populace who call themselves the Tribe of the Dawn. They are primitive people. They gather wood and reeds to build their structures. And use clay and bog iron to improve them. Like all simple folk, they're compelled by survival to leave the comfort of the village. Many dream of adventure. The surrounding woods are uninviting. Death and pain await in the wild. Evil creeps and crawls through the dark recesses of their minds. Your subjects are only human, and as such, their minds and bodies can be broken. Trying times, the people pray for aid. They have a witch who whispers powerful spells. Blessing the tribe's people or cursing their foes. But even divine assistance may not be enough. They can only watch their wooden settlement crumbles to dust. One after another. This settlement you speak of, what do they call it? Alright, I think we're well prepared now and ready to go. We'll select our previous group and set up some guarding rules so that our more heavily armored squad members take most of the enemy attention. Then we'll simply choose a direction for them to move. Along the way we might also stumble onto some points of interest such as ruins, broken carts, loose stones and corpses. We should investigate these, since uh, they can often lead to resources or valuable pieces of equipment. But as with everything, value comes at a price, so we'll need to be wary of beasts and monsters guarding these treasures. Combat in Gord is very straightforward. Once an enemy enters our squad's line of sight, each of our subjects will attack automatically. Each subject has two attacks and will default to the best one depending on the situation, such as facing a singular enemy or multiple opponents at once. Enemies in our world come in a variety of shapes and sizes. You can expect to find beasts, monsters, humanoids and the most powerful of all, horrors. Creatures such as beasts and monsters are territorial and will usually guard a certain area, often hiding a resource or treasure. Humanoids, on the other hand, are more prone to raiding. If we weren't to attack first, they would almost certainly assault our guard in the near future. Now we can use that faith we gathered earlier to add in some incantations. In Gord, there are 18 spells categorized in three groups Utility, Support, and Offensive.
They guard subjects, enemies have two attacks but also a conditional buff, for example doing higher damage during a blizzard, and a special ability such as producing those poisonous eggs we are currently searching for. Looks like we finally found our targets. False spawn aren't particularly durable, but they can do some serious damage if they attack in a group. We did. 
Now that we've finished our quests, we can head back to heal our wounds. Alongside physical damage, certain intense situations can impact our subject's mental states as well. This can come from something as simple as someone walking outside of a light source, or under more traumatic circumstances, such as incurring physical wounds or seeing a fellow subject in trouble. We also have a kinship system that scales the severity of these effects depending on if our subjects are related. Let me start with our interface. On the right we see portraits of each of our subjects. At the bottom we can access our action panel. On the left you can see a minimap, notifications and information about quests. At the top of the screen is information about our resources and parameters. Growth represents the overall advancement of our settlement. Faith allows us to use incantations. And sanity is our subject's mental state. Now let's reveal the full HUD and take stock of our current situation. It looks like our economy is in good shape and our subjects are relatively healthy, but there is an issue we should investigate. Okay, so it seems that our subjects are complaining about the surrounding swamps being full of false spawn, lying their poisonous eggs everywhere. Let's help with that. So far we've been focusing only on the economy, so we haven't built any military structures. Let's fix that now. I think having both ranged and melee warriors for our quest will be handy, so let's build an archery range and an axe pit. If we're expecting a fight, the we'll want to assemble a squad inside. with the best traits, items and the most fighting experience to ensure our chances of victory. It also might be a good idea to include a scout to improve our line of sight. We can preview each squad member's profile in the details panel. Now we can ask our chosen subjects to suit up for the fight. In Gord, Subjects aren't locked to one profession, so we can order them to change at any time depending on our current needs. We can also increase our capabilities by having some divine power on our side. By asking subjects to pray at the temple, we'll receive a steady flow of faith points that we can use to cast incantations. Finally, we can give our subjects some well-deserved rest. This Balia can help with physical regeneration while our Meadery can let our subjects relax and forget their worries. Soon, they'll have recovered and be ready for more action. So far, we've shown only a small piece of one level. Each of the campaign maps has been handcrafted to accommodate our main story following the events described in our in-game book of lore, The Chronicle. But we also have a custom scenarios mode, which will allow us to freely customize our experience. 
Here we can choose from a variety of settings ranging from the size of our map to the type of terrain we'll encounter, how many points of interest we'll have available to investigate, how many enemies will be in the world and those starting resources we'll have. Next, we can choose our starting group. We'll be given a set of subjects chosen from a pool of 1000 semi-randomized profiles, each with their own characteristics and bios. Each profile can differ not only in subjects starting profession, but their equipment, age, strengths, weaknesses or predispositions for gaining certain types of experience. Once we are happy with our scenario, we can procedurally generate our map and begin our adventure. In this instance, we've chosen the construction challenge, but we are free to continue playing after completing our main objective. Our subjects are now awaiting their orders and we can set off on a new adventure. Burning heart of the sky, hear my wailing. In hours of darkness we beg for your light. In ages of horrors we beg for still hearts. In years of slaughter, come, bleed our foes, and when we shall die, please, save our souls. <sighs> oh, bountiful Dabo, aid us with your might, as we are in great need, for the challenges upon us are great. <laughs> 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 